Hi, it's Laura here. I'm going to be going through the Easter story with you today. And it starts off when Jesus arrived in Jerusalem. He rode in on a young donkey. The crowds cheered and they waved palm leaves in the air. They laid the leaves on the floor and jackets too for the donkey to ride on. Everyone was just so excited and happy to have Jesus there with them. Well, not quite everybody. Some of the Jewish leaders didn't like what Jesus was saying and what he was doing. And they were busy making plans to capture him and to kill him. Jesus met with some of his close friends, the disciples, for a very special meal. During the meal, Jesus said that he was going to die, but his friends didn't really understand what he meant. He gave his friends bread and wine and said, whenever you eat and drink these, remember me. After the meal, Jesus went into the garden to pray, but his friends kept falling asleep. Jesus knew what was going to happen to him, so he prayed to God to help him and to give him the strength that he would need. While Jesus was praying, a group of soldiers were led to where Jesus was by Judas, one of Jesus's closest friends, who betrayed Jesus for some money. The soldiers arrested Jesus and took him away. They made fun of him and didn't treat him very nicely. The Roman ruler spoke to Jesus and found that Jesus had done nothing wrong. But the crowd that were cheering in celebration just a few days before were now shouting, kill him, kill him. So Jesus was taken away and nailed to a wooden cross with robbers on either side of him. And while Jesus was on the cross, darkness fell across the land. And when Jesus died, there was a huge earthquake. There was a curtain in the temple between the holy place and the most holy place where God was. And when Jesus died, that curtain was torn in two from the top to the bottom so that everyone could see inside. The soldiers that were there when Jesus died said, surely he is the son of God. Jesus' body was taken down from the cross, wrapped in strips of cloth and was put in a new empty tomb. A large heavy stone was moved across the entrance of the tomb so that nobody could get into it. Early on Sunday morning, three days after Jesus had died, some women went to Jesus' tomb. They couldn't believe what they could see. That massive stone had been rolled away and an angel was sitting there and the angel said, don't be afraid. Jesus is alive. They ran to tell Jesus's best friends. Over the next little while, Jesus met with his friends and other people. They ate with him. They spoke with him. They even touched the wounds where the nails were. They truly believed that Jesus had died and came back to life. When Jesus had finished his work on earth, he went back to heaven so that he could be that link between us and God.